globalization created situations where numbers of people were suddenly becoming the losers in the changes that were being made. I think people look at the world through the lens of their experience and their experiences are really very different. People who live on the coast or major cities basically all share the same cosmopolitan values. This is the group that is often misleadingly called coastal elites. And suddenly you're no longer surrounded by people who are different from you. People who spend their lives in the major cities of the world, the concentration of wealth and innovation, don't have much idea what's going on in Kansas and Nebraska and the like. So you get not just a economic division across these different places, but you get a cultural division. And it has to be apparent to people throughout our society that the people who run our institutions and have a lot of power and money in American life care about their situation and are trying to help them. That's not apparent enough nowadays in America. They start to see these coastal elites as people who aren't concerned with real Americans, people who are basically out of touch. And that might mean that all of these different factions are now being fused into two giant factions. But everybody in the country starts to see themselves as a Democrat or a Republican and to think that if my side loses, if the other side wins, that is the end of days. That is the big danger.